The National Record Store Day is a day that started in 2007. Independent record stores, there's at least 1,400 across the country. They get together with labels and artists and put out stuff that you could only find that day. That was local music critic Eleni Austin educating you about National Record Store Day. Hi, this is Steve the Editor coming to you from the Edit Bay. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, nat packs or as I like to call them, sight and sound packages. Now, now what these are, are short films without a reporter narration. Actually, all the sound you hear will be coming from either the persons being interviewed or the sounds of whatever event happens to be going on. This is an awesome movie. So I'm gonna show you a couple of these today. First of all, let's get back to National Record Store Day. This is actually my first Record Store Day. I have gone on Record Store Day before to buy records, but I would always come at around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Uh, and pick up just the leftovers or I'd buy some stuff online. This is the first time I came here in the morning, right before they open, to pick up the first picks. I would say it was absolutely worth it. I got to pick up some stuff that there was only one of, and they would have gone to someone else, and they were records that I really just wanted. And another one was a The Clash album, the first album re-released uh, on vinyl, and I'm a really big fan of The Clash. So if I didn't come here in the morning, I would have missed out. And on top of which, I would have missed out being some nice people, because while waiting in line, I'd argue I'd made a few friends. So that was well worth it. I just totally love Record Store Day. Keep supporting um, independent record stores. Um, they're here to serve you and, you know, vinyl forever. They have it on the third Saturday of every April. It, it's generally a big event for us. It's our biggest day of the year. It's like Black Friday for us. Now, the weekend following this event, I had another opportunity to pick up my camera and put together another sight and sound package. Let's take a look at Free Comic Book Day. Star Lord, aka Peter Quill. Okay. Here for Free Comic Book Day. Serenity came out, Civil War II, Zero Issue, which is you can only get on Free Comic Book Day. Not just Supergirl, but it's all the female DC characters as teenagers. Uh, there's a cartoon on TV and they re released for Free Comic Book Day, the first comic of that. Batman is, a, is like one of my favorites. And um, Punisher. Batman and Punisher. I'm pretty dark. <laughs> the Walking Dead is great. Spider-Man. Spider-Man's awesome. He's That's like my favorite character of all time. Batman, Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, all runs, and Deadpool. We may not even be into the same sort of fandom. You might be into like Star Wars. I'm into more into like Lord of the Rings. But we could still get together and still have this kind of love for fandom in general. Two, three, winners! <laughs> winners! Well, there you go. There's two examples of sight and sound stories for you. My thanks to Eleni Austin of The Record Alley and Sid Johnson of Desert Oasis Comics for helping me with all of this. Until next time, this is Steve the Editor coming to you from the Edit Bay.